Hi guys, welcome back to episode 15 of the Delage Cycle Cart Build. In this episode, I'll be starting work on the drivetrain of the cart. I'm going to do this video slightly differently than previous videos, so I'd really appreciate feedback on what you like and what you don't like about the video. As you may already know, this cart is going to be electric and will be driven from an electric motor through a gear reduction to the rear axle. The motor I'm using is a fragment larger than this one. I'm using this golden motor, three kilowatt, 48 volt, brushless DC motor made for small electric vehicles. To get the acceleration and speed that I am aiming for, I need a total gear ratio of 10.3 to 1. There is simply not enough room to fit the sprocket sizes large enough to get this ratio in the back of my car, so I need some sort of reduction box out of the motor before the chain drive to the back axle. This is where Wittenstein come in. Wittenstein develop customised products systems and solutions for highly dynamic motion, maximum precise positioning and smart networking for drive technology. I have been in contact with Wittenstein and they have agreed to send me one of their SP Plus planetary gearboxes. The standard version of these low backlash planetary gearboxes with output shaft is ideally suited for high positioning accuracy and a highly dynamic cycling operation. The SP Plus high speed is particularly well suited for applications with maximum speed during continuous operation. This will attach to the motor and have a chain drive off the output shaft of 1.4 to 1, turning the 7.5 to 1 of the gearbox to the 10.3 to 1 total ratio that I need. Having such a low ratio after the gearbox means that I can tune the ratio when I've tested the car to get the car to a point that works perfectly for me. A parcel has arrived for me, labelled Wittenstein, so let's have a look at the gearbox. This is an amazing looking and feeling product and it must be said, you can feel the quality. And they've been kind enough to add in a few extra goodies. I can't wait to get working on building the supports and frame for the motor and gearbox. Time for me to get into the garage and get working on the cart. Hi guys, it's a new day and I'm in the garage looking at mounting options for the motor and gearbox. I have the motor and gear box set up on the floor, just sat on the floor with a wooden block to keep them at the correct level. And I have the axle in, not in the bearings, just sat in the holes. And I have a piece of steel going from the rear cross member to the first cross member of the floor. Originally, I was going to sit the motor and gear box above the axle, like how people fit engines onto cycle carts above the axle and then have a chain going down. I then realised that due to the difference in it has no orientation it has to be in because it is just a circle and it doesn't have any combustion engine uh, parts like your oil with oil sump which just has to be at the bottom of the GX200 engines. And I realised that down there it would be better for the centre of gravity and it would be 
easy to keep dry still just with either a plastic or aluminium panel which goes at the underneath to sort of extending the floor and then coming up to this back cross member. For mounting, I'm currently thinking to have two bits of something like angle iron or maybe some square tubing in the position that this is in, one about here and one further across, and then having a mount which goes, a bracket which goes down, across and up, well actually having it under to go up, across and back down. The first up would have bolt holes for these and would have a cutout to go around this circular section of the gearbox. So that would be quite, this, would, this could be made of steel or aluminium, not sure which yet, and I'll ask your opinions on that. But um, this would go up, would come across, there's going to be a spacer that I need to make which goes in between these, an adapter plate, and then the it would come back down in between the adapter plate and the motor and would bolt onto the motor. The adapter plate will also bolt onto, will go, so it'll go motor, plate of the bracket, adapter plate, the gearbox will mount to the adapter plate, the adapter plate will mount to the motor and then also because it's between them the vertical of the bracket. This could then have four bolt holes, two for each of the sort of rails here and then these could either have holes or slots so that I could uh, tension the chain and I'm wondering what people's opinion on this is. It's currently that's the sort of distance between the motor and the rail so that's how much it'd be off the floor which I think this is approximately at ride height at the moment, only approximately, but so it'd be similar to the lowest point of the cart. But with an aluminium plate underneath, I don't think this would be an issue. Um, and I'm wondering what people's opinion on this is, so that then I can only have to make a mount the first time and it worked the first time, hopefully. But yeah, what, what do people think? Is there, uh, do people think I should do it completely differently? This is my drivetrain setup. I'll be making the adapter soon, as soon as I know what I'm going to do for this mounting mechanism. And yeah, the cart's looking good. The chassis is being painted, which will come out in another video. Painted it, well, the first time it didn't go very well, so stripped down with lots of paint marks and we'll be spraying it soon. And the seat, as you've seen, and yeah, this is what's going on so far. I want to say a big thank you to Wittenstein for sponsoring me with this gearbox. Wittenstein are committed to deliver future-proof solutions for their customers. Their application stories illustrate how our visions are turned into concrete solutions that deliver competitive advantage and set industry benchmarks. This is going to make a seamless drive for the cart and I really enjoyed working with them. To find out more about them and what they do, please go downstairs to the description and you will find a link to their website and a link to the SP Plus gearbox that I am using. Thank you for watching, please like, share and subscribe.